Hello and welcome. Here we will demonstrate how you can use Theme Creator to easily create new themes for Xperia devices. To get started, you need to have the Theme Creator software along with Java Developer Kit. If you prefer to use Photoshop for image editing, we provide access to a variety of pre-configured Photoshop templates, which make it easier and faster to generate graphical resources for your themes. When the program is opened, it shows this dialog. To start new project, click on New Project button and complete the fields. Theme name is the official name of your theme, which will be displayed in the phone, and the package name is used by Google Play as a unique identifier for your theme. So it's very important to name this correctly. For example, if the URL of your company or brand is www.mycompany.com and the theme name is My First Theme, then the package name should be as follows com.mycompany.myfirstTheme. Theme version is usually a number which increases every time you publish a new version of your theme. However, you can name this as you like, for example, Christmas Edition. Project directory is the location you should choose for the project and all its assets to be saved in, for example, your desktop. So, now a new project is created and we're ready to start designing a theme. You'll notice the sidebar here on the left and the preview area here on the right, which is showing the default Xperia theme. Okay, let's go through the sidebar. Clicking on each section here changes the preview screen. Also, by clicking on each item, we see that its respective asset becomes highlighted. This helps identify the item we're working on but even better than that, you can simply click on different areas of the preview screen to see which assets are editable in that area. And remember, in case you need more information about the screen you're looking at, you can just hover over the info icon here. So let's go ahead and make some changes in the navigation bar area. As you see, we have several editable assets here. Each asset has a button which displays some options when you want to modify it. As an example, let's change the background of the navigation bar. Clicking this button opens a menu that gives you several editing options. In this case, the background can be either just a solid color or an image in JPG or PNG format. Just to test for now, we can click on the Set to Color button and pick a random color here. Note, that for some resources like this one, we can choose to make them transparent. Now, let's go ahead and change the Home button. Clicking on this Edit menu gives us several options, but as you see, unlike the navigation bar background, this one cannot be edited as a solid color. Here, we have two choices. We can either make a clone of the default icon and then edit it using an image editor or we can make a new empty PNG or JPG file and use it to design a home button. Alternatively, if we already have a graphical resource design for the home button, we can click on Pick Image and select that file. This process is basically the same for editing all other resources. Great, let's edit the default version which is shown on Xperia devices running Android Lollipop. As this is the first time I'm using Theme Creator on this device, when I click this button, the program asks which image editing software I would prefer to use for designing themes. It may automatically identify pre-installed image editing programs, but if it doesn't, I can always select an image editor manually. In this case, I'm going to choose Adobe Photoshop CC, which is already installed on this computer. Okay, now the default home button is opened in Photoshop. Let's just tweak the colors a little bit, then save the file and go back to Theme Creator to preview the changes. During this process, Theme Creator has made a PNG file inside the project folder, and I can edit this at any time in the future. You'll notice that the Edit menu buttons change as soon as they're modified. 
These buttons visually aid to find unmodified resources in your theme. Additionally, while I continue to modify these resources, this bar indicates my progress. However, don't forget that there are several other components that can be styled to create a richer and better theme. To see what else can be modified, let's go to the resource panel and change this filter. Here the program will allow customization of over 500 different resources. This gives more control over details of theme design. Just to give you a demo of what else can be done, I'll go back to Navigation Bar Background. You'll immediately notice that there are eight different resources that can be customized only for this item. Each has a different purpose and will be displayed in different contexts on the real device. Let's edit this one, but this time as a nine patch. Clicking this option brings up a window where we can choose a canvas size for our nine patch image. As you may already know, Nine patch images are very flexible because they can automatically stretch and adjust to any given size on the screen. So a small nine patch image would work perfectly in most cases. However, depending on the level of details in our design, sometimes we may need a larger canvas. By using this window, you can easily choose the canvas size which works best for your design. And for those who are not familiar with how nine patch images work, we will have a separate tutorial. Make sure to check the description of this YouTube video for more information. Anyway, clicking OK will open my recently created 9-patch image in the selected image editor. As explained earlier, editing this file and saving it will be directly visible on the preview screen in the theme project. The program allows to easily preview the new style in portrait or landscape mode and to select between phone or tablet view. You can also check this option to see how the theme looks on devices which are running both KitKat or Lollipop and higher versions. In addition, you have the choice to design visuals specifically for Android KitKat or newer OS versions. However, based on the resources you provide, Theme Creator will automatically reuse compatible items to export a theme package which adapts to different OS versions. But keep in mind that some resources are platform specific. For example, some graphics are displayed only on tablets or specific OS versions. Which is why we strongly recommend expert theme designers to test and optimize their themes on relevant devices and OS versions. Don't forget that these previews are approximated, so to verify your final design, you'll need to connect an Xperia to your computer and preview the theme in real time. We will have other tutorials with in-depth information about previewing themes on an actual device and exporting your projects for Google Play. Thank you for watching this video.